Uh, it's not fish. It's not mice. And it's not. I don't think it's insects. Should we go with fruit? Shall we go with fruit? Oh, to hell with it. Oh! <laughs> Biggie! Okay. Go play. I was going with the king. Final answer. Yes, final answer. Anna? Yes. Oh, he's done it now. Once you come to Orange, you cannot change your mind. You just won 5,000. Yeah! I want a doctor. <laughs> now, you have five grand. You are three away from 50,000. That would be a brilliant result. That would be the minimum amount you would leave here with. And you have three lifelines to help you get there. Question number five. You can double your money. It's for £10,000. Have a look at it. Tell me what you want to do. Which of these countries is not a monarchy? Denmark, Finland, Norway, Sweden. Well, uh, Denmark is... Uh, Sweden, Sweden is, and I think Norway is, mm. and I think Finland isn't. King of Finland, Queen of Finland, there isn't, is there? I don't think there is. There's a King and Queen of Denmark. I've met, actually, the Queen of Denmark. She's an awfully nice woman. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> now, hang on, or was it the Queen of Norway? I can't remember. Anyway... Uh... Either way, there's definitely queens there. There are definitely... <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of queens in those countries, yes. Uh, but Finland, no queens. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, Finland. Finland. Final answer. Yes. Final answer, Chris. You've just won 10,000. Yes! <laughs> Finland is a republic. Yes. Now just calm yourselves. You're getting yes, too we excited. Are. Okay. We are getting over. Five comes before a fall. Yes. Yes. You have 10,000 pounds. Question number six is for 20,000. You have all three lifelines. Here it comes. Forever Young is the autobiography of which celebrity? Jimmy Young, hmm. Will Young, Neil Young, Kirsty Young. Well, I, I think it's Jimmy Young. Yeah. Yeah, because he is Forever Young. Will Young is young, but that would be a stupid title for someone young like that. <laughs> I've never heard of Who's Neil Young? Neil Young. Never heard of it, Neil Young. Young. Kirsty Young. I don't think she's. I think it's Jimmy Young. Let's go. Let's for go. It. Yeah. Final answer. Jimmy Young. Oh, you had ten thousand pounds. You just won twenty thousand. Yeah! <laughs> Serious business, guys. Do yes, you young? serious. <laughs> right, you have £20,000. You have three lifelines untouched. You are six right answers away from one million. More critically, you are one away from £50,000. If you did go for that question and give me the right answer, you would go home with at least £50,000. You could not lose that amount of money. OK? OK. Question number seven for £50,000 is this. Which of these volcanoes last erupted in 1944? Ararat, Fuji, Kilimanjaro, Vesuvius. Well, I think it's a difficult question. It's this. Not Kilimanjaro, is it? I don't think it's Kilimanjaro. I don't think it's Ararat, and I don't. I think it was Vesuvius. I don't but think it's Fuji, either. Yeah. We might have to... I think we'd better have asked someone, hadn't we, for this. Do you think? What about the lovely audience? I think we'll ask the lovely audience, too. Shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Are you, are someone you, groaned. How many of you have erupted recently? <laughs> 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 yes, can we ask the audience, please? Chris? You can, you can, yes. of course. How polite. Please, Christopher. Yes, of course you can. Yes. Right. Thank you. Audience, first lifeline they've needed. It's serious business. It's for £50,000. <laughs> right, on your keypads, this is the question. Which of these volcanoes last erupted in 1944? Now, A is Ararat, B is Fuji, C is Kilimanjaro, D is Vesuvius. A, B, C or D, please all vote now. Oh, it's a majority, it's not huge. It's 
Do you think so that we get to 50,000, we should Wait. do 50-50? Or is that a waste? I don't... Mm. Should we have the power of the audience and our conviction to go with it? Oh, I think... I think maybe we should... All right, let's go. What? what where? <laughs> To the pub, where let's, go, let's get the ivy. I'm you pay. I'll pay. I'm there on me. Five nights. <laughs> you thought Vesuvius. Yeah. They think Vesuvius. Yes. <laughs> Anna, what do you think? I don't know. I think we should go with Vesuvius. Yeah, okay. Shall we? Yes, we will. Final answer. Please final. don't shout at me. Final? final answer. Yes, final. <gasps> it's gone orange. Just one fifty grand. Whatever that happens now. tonight, what a great start. £25,000 each. Two charities New Year's oh. start with 50 grand. That's at least. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Will we take it? Nope. nope. Keep it. <laughs> I'll put it there. Right. That is wonderful. Whatever happens, you go home with at least that amount of money. Fantastic. Fantastic. Minimum. Fantastic. But Minimum. We don't want to give you that, Christopher. Anna, you have £50,000. You know you've got that. You still have a 50-50 and you still have a phone a friend. And you are five away from one million quid. This is Ooh. for 75,000. I normally say you do not have to play this question. This one, you might as well. Have a look at it. Here it comes. You have two lifelines. Mickey Mantle was a star of which sport? Mm. American football, ice hockey, baseball, basketball. Absolutely <laughs> I no idea whatsoever. However... Mickey Mantle. You think it's Mickey... No, 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 that's oh. the... Oh, I think... <laughs> <laughs> Do yes, you have any ideas? I have no idea. Then I think I have to uh, ring uh, my friend Mark Woodward. Mark Woodward? Woodward, because he's sporty. He's sporty, and actually he might well know. He might well know. Really? He might well know. Mm -hmm. So it's great. So if I could, um, I'd like to ring Mark. OK. Now, it's only 30 seconds. Right, OK. I just thought I'd warn yeah, you. all right. Because <laughs> you don't really do 30 seconds, Biggie. <laughs> no, come on. All right, OK, you're right, I do. Okay. Hello. Mark? Yes. Chris Tarrant here, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you sound a bit fed up. Are you all right? I'm very well. That's good. Well, you remember when you volunteered to be a phone a friend? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. I see. Brilliant. Yes, right. So, listen, I've got Chris Biggins here. OK. And he's doing well. Um, he's stuck on a particular question. It's worth £75,000 for charity. Great. Yeah, I knew you'd be pleased. I'm oh, delighted. Right. <laughs> Next one is going to be Biggie. He'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of them is worth £75,000. All right, mate? OK. OK, right. Biggie, fingers crossed. Your time starts now. Mark, Mickey okay. Mantle was a star of which sport? American football, ice hockey, baseball or basketball? What was the name again? Mickey Mantle. Uh, baseball. Baseball. You knew that. Oh, you Mark, love you. fantastic. Love you. Oh, Mark, you'll get such a meal at Definitely. some lovely I'm restaurant very soon. Certain. And a big kiss. And a big kiss from Anna. Yeah. Lovely. And from me, but why not throw it in? Unless <laughs> <laughs> your image gone down. OK, thanks very baseball, much. Baseball, definitely. Base did you say baseball? We did say baseball. <laughs> you were so busy. <laughs> you were so busy slobbering all Yeah, I know. You forgot what he said. Did he say baseball? He did say baseball. Chris. Yes. We're fairly confident. Are we? <laughs> Baseball, oh. our final answer. That's <laughs> <laughs> the right answer. Yeah. I can't believe you it. You know you said this is the first year you haven't done a panto for this Yeah, yeah, do one now. Doing one now. <laughs> right, there you are. Oh. oh. You have 75,000 pounds. Oh, delicious. 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 But we don't want to give you that. You got 75 grand. Question number nine. Oh. Now, this is serious business. This. You have one lifeline <clears> left. This is a 50-50. Yeah. 
Okay, you could get rid of two possible answers. You do not have to play it, but you have £75,000. You would only lose £25,000. You could only drop back to 50. You've got 50 no matter what. You could only lose 25,000, but if you went for it and gave me the right answer, you'd double your money to 150,000 pounds. So it's a serious question, okay? You have a 50-50. Question number nine is for 150,000 pounds. <coughs> Anna, Biggie, fingers crossed, here it comes. Which Chancellor of the Exchequer holds the record for the longest continuous budget speech? Winston Churchill. Harold Macmillan, William Gladstone, Stanley Baldwin. One of those is worth £150,000. You can use your 50-50 and get rid of two. Well, um, they're all great orators, but Winston Churchill was, you know, he did... He went on a bit. He went on a bit, didn't he? Um, I really, I really don't know. I mean, but I... Instinctively, I would go with Winston Churchill. Um I can't imagine Harold McMillan talking much, can you? He was a bit doer. William Gladstone, I knew him well, but I don't know if he talked a long time. <laughs> <laughs> One of my old friends. Stanley. <laughs> Stanley Baldwin. And listen, should we do 50 50? Just as a bit of interest. Yeah, see if Winston's still there. Can we do 50 50? You can, right. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Biggie and Anna the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <gasps> well. Crumbs. We've Rums. got we've got fifty thousand pounds, haven't we? You said it, Winston, didn't you? And I think we'd only drop twenty five thousand pounds. That means we get twenty five thousand pounds each for our um, our charity. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth going on a little bit further to see if we can get some more. Winston Churchill, was your gut feeling you've been right yeah. all night? Well, no, but I'm probably wrong now. But uh, shall but we? we've got fifty. Yeah, we'll go for it, Chris. We'll go Winston for Churchill. Winston Churchill. Final answer. And <clears> final answer. Final answer. He had £75,000. You've just lost oh. 25000 Oh, oh guys. Oh. Um, what a shame. It was... Listen. So sorry. Well, uh, I know. 50,000 oh, is... 50,000 is a fantastic yeah. result. Yeah. It really fantastic is. Fantastic yeah. start to yeah. both <gasps> those charities just... New Year as well. It really is. Thank you very start. much, Chris. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank no, no, you. no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a big hand. They go away with £50,000. <laughs> Stay there, guys. Okay. You can take the check now. Oh, yeah. Take it. That's what you come for. Take it. £50,000. <laughs> nearly Easter, so naturally what's needed is the Christmas special of Celebrity Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's tonight from 10 on Challenge. Oh, and it's followed by the Whitsun edition of Takeshi's Castle. No, I'm joking.